Welcome back to the Plays With Cars YouTube channel and a quick video on some helpful tips for painting your calipers. What we have here is a set of brand new Brembo four piston fixed calipers uh, for our project Audi. It's for our BAS4. These tips apply to any calipers though. If you are replacing the calipers on your car and they are like these uncoated or come in a coating or a color you don't particularly care for and you're going to do it yourself before installing on the car, uh, this applies to you. So what we have here are some brand new calipers. These particular ones happen to be aluminum. Uh, what you can see here I've done is obviously masked off everywhere where it mounts and everywhere that has a machined surface. So there are machined surfaces in here for where the pads go in in this particular caliper. Made sure to cover all the pistons on both sides of our fixed caliper here. And what I have also done additionally since these were brand new, I took out the bleeder and the crossover tube and covered up the machined areas with uh, some tape, but that prevents me from having anything else here in the way so that I can get a nice coating on my caliper here. Now, what I'm attempting to do here is not make a show car. This is our daily driver and um, the car that's gonna do some track work. These brakes are gonna get dirty, they're, they're gonna get dusty, all this kind of stuff. This is not show car stuff. This is, I wanna protect the calipers, I wanna have a color that, that looks cool with what we've got, but I'm not necessarily worried about a perfect finish. However, there's still some things you do to make sure you have a nice finish. One is making sure you've dressed the surface. So that's any kind of casting imperfections. These are actually cast really, really well. You can see there is a cast texture to them, but this is great. It's gonna give the paint some bite. But if you're going for a show car glossy look, you would actually wanna sand this down until it was nice and smooth. Um, a big thing is actually casting lines. So right here, you see this line? That is where the two-piece mold separates that cast these. These are actually really nice. I've had these be very sharp before, uh, and that can cause issues, obviously, with cutting you, but also with paint adhering uh, where those casting marks are. So make sure they're dressed well. Make sure you've degreased them. So uh, there's going to be release agent on these. Make sure you get all the release agent off. You degrease them. You dry them completely. You don't have anything here on the surface. The other thing you're going to want to do is use the correct paint. So I've got here some spray paint. This is engine paint. So engine paint is designed for high heat, as is brake caliper paint. Um, if you actually like buy the Duplicolor brake caliper paint, it's literally the same formula. It's just a different can. Uh, but you do definitely want high heat paint. So an engine paint or a caliper paint, nothing else is going to do. And again, this is this is a daily driver with a little bit of track time. This is not a full on track car. Uh, that's going to see repeated really high temperatures. In that case, none of these sprays, even the brake caliper specific ones are going to do. You're really going to want to have it like Cerakoted or um, something to that effect, powder coated, something that's going to hold up a lot higher, higher, higher temp. This is you know daily driver quality stuff. Uh, but one thing you could do to make sure that you've got a really good uh, paint adhering is to heat up the can. You can see here my label is looking a little wet and squabbly. That's because this has been sitting in a pot of hot water, not boiling water, but hot water, uh, for the last 20 minutes to get the paint inside all nice and excited and warm as well as these have been inside it's a little bit cold out here today but it's warm enough for the paint to work the big thing to do is make sure you're not doing this in freezing temperatures you're not using really cold paint and you don't have really cold calipers so uh, those are all your your tips and tricks on how to get a decent paint job on your new calipers if you are uh, making some calipers good to go on your car so let's uh do a little spray here and you can see what we're looking like So another thing to do is start your spray off of the part, spray all the way across, and then let go once you're off the part. If you let go in the middle, you see these lines here where I've sprayed back and forth and stopped in the middle. It puts a darker coating there. So the other good thing is light coats. Light coats are going to be good. More light coats is better than one big old thick heavy coat. Uh, you'll get runs and cracking, all sorts of stuff. So I'm going to get after it with this, but you can just give you an idea of what kind of paint job you can expect when you're all done with your calipers.